17-year-old boy accused of murder for the shooting death of a 17-year-old girl Wednesday, yesterday morning. The victim recently had a baby. everyone, welcome back to Reckless Crime. We're going to talk about the tragic story of Ikea Emery Hood. Viewer discretion is advised, as some material may be disturbing or offensive to some audiences. The views and opinions expressed do not necessarily reflect those of the channel creators. We do not condone any criminal activity and encourage viewers to respect the law and the individuals involved in the cases. Ikea Emery Hood, a 17-year-old new mom, she was a vibrant and beloved 17-year-old girl from Dallas, Texas. She was a junior at Lancaster High School and a cherished member of the Tigerette drill team. Ikea was known for her radiant smile, her laughter, and her hard work, especially when it came to dancing. She aspired to dance at the collegiate level. Ikea was also a new mother to a three-week-old baby girl. She had a tumultuous on-and-off relationship with Trevon Darnell Wright over the last two years. Ikea's mother shared that Ikea had just learned that Wright was not the father of her newborn daughter and had planned to tell him. Tragically, Ikea's life was cut short. Now, officers issued an arrest warrant for Trevon Wright in connection to the murder of Ikea Hood. She was found shot on Grambling Drive near Buford Drive in southeast Oak Cliff yesterday morning. Police say Hood died there at the scene. Hours ago, Lancaster ISD confirmed that Ikea Hood was a student at Lancaster High School. They said, in part, her death represents a great loss for our district, and we will be providing counseling and grief services for students and staff members impacted by this tragedy. If you have any information related to that shooting, Dallas police would definitely like to hear from you. A U.S. Marshals Task Force arrested a 17-year-old for the shooting death of a teenage mother. 17-year-old Ikea Hood was shot and killed over the weekend. She very recently gave birth to a baby girl. According to court documents, 17-year-old Trayvon Wright was the one who murdered her. Police say they were in an on and off relationship and he believed he was the father of the child. He was not, and he found out. Fox 4's Rebecca Butcher, live in Dallas with the update. Rebecca. Yeah, Steve, well, Dallas police say that 17-year-old Ikea Hood was shot and killed by her boyfriend in an arrest warrant affidavit. Hood says, an arrest warrant affidavit says that Hood planned to tell the suspect that he was not the father of her newborn child. Dell's police say 17-year-old Trayvon Wright was arrested for murder Tuesday by U.S. Marshals and booked into the Dallas County Jail. The victim, Lancaster High School junior Ikea Hood, was fatally shot Sunday morning at her mother's home on Grambling Drive in southeast Oak Cliff, according to Wright's arrest warrant affidavit. Hood's family has said she gave birth to a baby girl just three weeks prior. According to the affidavit, Hood's mother told police the suspect and Hood had been in an on-again, off-again dating relationship for the past two years, and that Hood had recently learned that her newborn daughter had not been fathered by suspect Wright. Hood's mother also told police her daughter planned to confess to Wright Sunday, January 7th, the day the murder took place, according to the documents. They also say Wright believed the newborn child to be his. The affidavit says Hood's mother heard a loud noise in her home around 10.30 a.m and said she'd seen Wright in Hood's room. She found that the door was locked from the inside. The 17-year-old girl's mother became concerned for complaint Hood's safety and began banging on the door. She then approached Hood's bedroom from the outside and noted that the window was open and that the screen had been pushed outside of the residence. Hood's mother discovered Hood was suffering from a gunshot wound and Wright was gone. She dialed 911 and when paramedics arrived, they found Hood deceased. Dallas police have not said where they are arrested Wright or how they tracked him down, and they have not said whether a possible murder weapon was recovered. She was found with a gunshot wound in her locked bedroom, and the window was open with the screen pushed out. The police issued a murder warrant for Trevon Darnell Wright in connection with Ikea's death. He was taken to the Dallas County Jail, and a bond amount had not yet been set at the time of the report. It's unclear if Wright has obtained an attorney to speak on his behalf. The investigation into the shooting is ongoing. The officials at Lancaster High School have extended their deepest sympathy to Ikea's family 
and friends at this difficult time. They have arranged for extra counselors on campus to help students through this loss. This is a tragic reminder of the senseless violence that affects our communities. Our thoughts are with IKEA's family and friends during this difficult time. Please, let's remember to treat each other with kindness and respect. She was beautiful. She was a beautiful soul. Very vibrant, life at a party. The 17-year-old loved to dance and perform and had just embraced a new role as a mom. She gave birth to a little girl just three weeks ago. She was excited for her new journey of becoming a mother and just growing a bond with all of our siblings. But on Sunday, police say Aki and her boyfriend, 17-year-old Trayvon Wright, had an argument here at her home in Oak Cliff. She was shot to death. It's just very tragic that we lost Kia that way. Kia didn't stand for violence. She wasn't involved in violence. She was in dance. Her family says that Kia and her boyfriend were on and off again for a couple of years, and there was a history of domestic violence between them. According to an arrest affidavit, Akia told her mother she had recently learned that her newborn daughter had not been fathered by suspect Wright and told her mother she planned on telling Wright on January 7th. That's the day she was killed. Her family says they don't understand why this happened and want to send a message to other victims of domestic violence. My best advice is to leave, talk to somebody, get help. They want people to remember Akia this way, full of life, a young woman who had everything to live with.